Flamentos is located in the Fulton Market District and features the bright and light flavors of Italy in every dish. And now you can learn some of its culinary secrets in a pasta making class. Here in our Studio 41 kitchen with all the details is executive chef Don Walker. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Glad to be in. Pasta is one of those things that, I mean, I don't know anybody who doesn't like pasta, but something about it is intimidating. Yeah, Making it. it can be, definitely be seem like it's daunting, but it's been around for thousands of years. So I mean, it's, it's a very simple dish, and it's just it's lot labor intensive. That's, yes, that's, that's what it. it is. Let me ask you this, because we see all different shapes and sizes of pasta. The basic recipe is the same. It's just the shape that's different, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, like for our raviolis, we're going to be making the double zero dough. Uh, I also brought some uh, viewing of our gluten free pasta as well. Mm. So. Um, with that, you, you know, you kind of have to play around with um, the the flours or whatnot. But overall, I mean, the process of pasta is the same. You need a nice flour, some eggs, and a little bit of liquid, some salt. So, mm. and then just different ratios will get you a little bit different texture. But oh. overall, it's. A, it's a pretty simple process with that. So, so you okay. say. Yes. So yes. you yes. say. <laughs> All right. So how to start it? So yes, we're going to start off with some double zero flour. What um, is double zero yeah. flour? Double zero flour is going to have a little bit more gluten, so you'll get a little bit more bounce back. Got it. Um, and it'll hold the structure better. Okay. Um, you can use all-purpose flour, but to have that nice tooth to it and the nice uh, texture, you want to definitely use something with a little bit more gluten or a little bit more protein in it. So and it, uh, you can find that in the grocery store? Yes, you okay. should be able to find that. Um, double zero. Double zero flour. Okay. Yes. Hmm. So yeah, it's pretty widely available. Um, we use Caputo brand in the restaurant, so that's one of the major ones coming out of Italy. Okay. So we take the flour, get it on our cutting board like the so. And make, so a, make little a nice well. little well for all the liquid in there. Yeah, so what is the purpose of the well and mixing the flour in slowly? So the well you're going to, it's um, it's to hold all the liquid inside, so then you're mixing it slowly bit by bit. If you were just put everything on the board, you'd make a big mess with all the liquid going yes, everywhere. Yes, going everywhere, okay. So, is that like when you make cookies where you have the wet and the dry and then you slowly sift in the dry? Could you do that too? Um, you kind of need to work it this way okay. and it'll help it uh, develop its uh, its structure a little bit better. Okay, okay, just okay. Get a little bit more flour You can tell there. I don't do this very often. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take our eggs, crack them into the center right there. And you offer classes on this. Yes, yeah, we are starting a uh, pasta making class. Um, and then they're going to be ranged from either raviolis, gnocchi. Um, mm, um, gnocchi. Mm -hmm. We might uh, do a gluten-free pasta class, you know, okay. really pre pre um, hit all the masses with that. I love right, it. So today we got some, what is that, olive oil? It's a little bit of olive oil, and uh, we're going to break up the eggs like so and kind of start working it. If you get a little on the outside, it's all right. Okay, now we can use some start. Missy Elliott. Gotta work it. <laughs> can you work it? There it is. Okay, so I usually see it with a fork. You could just do it with your hands too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. your hands are your best tool. You yeah, definitely want to use that. Um, I have gloves on right now. This will help, obviously, when you uh, take off the gloves yeah. and uh -huh. then. Uh, so um, as you slowly start working it, you're starting to get more of that flour mixed into it. Can you work it too much and make it tough? Um, or no, or is that the so idea? So the, with the double zero, it's not, it's better, it's, you want to kind of overwork, you want to build uh, up that, okay. build up that oh, gluten okay. in there. Um, you want to work it more than underworking it because then you won't get the, the, the dough, the, the consistency you need it to okay. be. Okay, to get that al dente, right? Yes, when you're done cooking exactly. it. Okay, okay look at so that, it's all tough. Yeah, see, I would have thought right. mixing it would have made it tougher than this would have done it, like tuning the, you know. Well, this, I mean, this kind of want it to be as tough as possible, because then it'll, it. it'll withstand the high temperatures of the water boiling. Got it, okay. Slowly, okay. slowly getting right. everything incorporated here. And then you, do you use all that flour in there? Yeah, you're so gonna get that it'll kind of, it'll slowly start to sop up. That. Okay, so I am impressed, you didn't get any of the liquid. No. Oh, I know. You think he's doing might this be a professional or something, right? He teaches the classes. I guess he should. Yeah. Know, so, silly so we're me. All that in there. Do you have to let it rise? Uh, you have to let it rest a little bit after you're you're working it. Um, so that's why we brought this uh, dough that's been uh, yeah mm -hmm. sat for a little bit longer. Okay. So anyway, you when you're getting working this it and working it. Point. I'm gonna start pulling it off the fingers and kind of. Getting everything in so there. So your classes are like what sizes are like ten to fifteen? Oh uh, yeah, we keep, we're capping around fifteen people. Uh, we're doing them once a month. Uh, you can reserve them on open table, um, and then each course is going to or each class is going to have a 
different uh, style of pasta mm -hmm. or whatnot. And then we offer uh, appetizers and drinks while the class is going on. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So you got it. That always makes it more yeah. fluid. Yeah, it really always does. makes like, it more fluid. All right, well, that would have lasted a minute. I want to like yeah. see how you can roll it out, too. So, all right. So, we'll, so we'll magic that, TV. Then, yeah, TV magic. Yeah. Oh, that came together really It nice. really yeah. did. Yeah. I'm so like shocked by that. It, it just kind of it'll get farther and farther. Okay. So now that we have this ready, so we'll take a little, little piece off like that. Um, you want to make sure it's flat enough when you're going through the, the rollers mm -hmm. that it'll So you don't roll it take. out at all. You're just you're hand pressing it before. You're pressing you... it, yeah, a little bit. Um, get a little bit of flour on this. You don't want to get stuck mm -hmm. in the yeah. machine. And also, too, the oil kind of will roll into the, ro uh, in the rollers itself. So yeah. you want something to kind of grip it and pull it through. Okay, all right. So as you start doing that, okay. you go through. The process of that, and uh, okay. you start with the biggest size and kind of work your way down. Um, when you're starting off to get a good shape, though, you want to fold this back over oh. to get that back squared up, and kind of you want to keep it around the oh. size of your roller, so it makes makes it easier and more squared off for it's you. It's fun. It's like Play-Doh. Exactly. <laughs> we are playing with dough right now. Yeah, we so, are playing yeah. with dough. And so these are some of the snacks you'll get uh, during the uh, classes. Exactly, yeah. So we uh, normally put out uh, like a cheese board, uh, some uh, bruschettas. Um, there's uh, some arancinis. There's a it's kind of a, a wide uh, list of uh, appetizers. How many times do you out. send this to this? Uh, you go through. So we started at seven, and then we work our way down to three. If you want yeah. a super thin dough, um, oh, got it. you kind of really depends on what shape you're going for too. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking at like a, a capellini or an angel hair, you're gonna go really, really thin. thin. Yeah. Mm. That is so right. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you so much. You're so welcome. Formentos is on Randolph Street. I want to see you send it through one of the things. All right, if you we'll can. send it through There's that. the social media handles as well as the website, so you can sign up for some of these game, uh, these pasta making classes. Ooh, we'll look roll at you. that. Or you can just go and eat on Valentine's Day. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we have, have a lot of fun specials there. We have a. Uh, so nice. all the pasta there is, is homemade. Oh, everything is house made, yes. Oh, look Ooh, how cool that is. So keep that nice and here? flat, and we have a little bit of spaghetti coming oh, out the back over here. I love it. Cool. That's so Chef fun. So Thanks, Chef. Yeah, we You're have welcome. to see the finished product. That is so cool. Oh, so cool. That's how spaghetti is made, everybody. <laughs> now you know how it's made. Okay. Love it. There we are. Fantastic. Thank you so Thanks, Chef. Welcome.